Growth Oriented Female Lead Plus Survival Game Plus Space Hoarding Plus Full Level Male Lead Plus 1v1 An unknown white mist swept across the world, causing those who inhaled excessive amounts to immediately die, and humans began to hide at home the next second, the cold mechanical female voice lingered in the ears of the survivors. Welcome to the survival game. Refusing to accept the game, player dies. The game system can be upgraded with points, and players can earn corresponding points. In the bustling city that never sleeps, multiple incidents of wild beasts injuring people have begun to occur. In the depths of the alley at night, there are green lights and eerie laughter terrorist parasites in bustling cities the sun disappears and the world is extremely cold and frozen deadly influenza virus in closed community unknown danger at night at Ingdu University who whispers softly at night. The song hidden in the hotel at midnight continuously rising hot weather how to deal with various natural and man-made disasters, and where should humanity go in the face of extreme resource scarcity. CP, Lin Lucy Jiang Qingzi PS. The female lead is a hoarding expert, not a very strong type from the beginning, but not a saint. There are zombies, monsters, and readers who only enjoy watching natural disasters can clear minds now. The author's writing style is not good, and there are countless beautiful novels. If you are not satisfied with this one, let's replace it. Everyone's opinions will be carefully read, and insulting comments and malicious negative reviews will be deleted. It will affect the mood and quality of coding. Key words of the novel. The end of the world comes. I won by hoarding supplies without a pop-dot-up window. The end of the world comes. I won by hoarding supplies. Download the complete text. The end of the world comes. I won by hoarding supplies. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1, Enter Survival Game. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1, Enter Survival Game, the entire article is fictional and should not be brought into reality. An unknown white mist sweeps across the world, and those who inhale the mist will enter a coma state. Those who inhale excessively will die. When Lin Lucy received the news, it was already too late, and a trace of white mist had seeped into his home, causing him to fall into a coma. Welcome to the survival game, this is an extreme survival game, players can bring props into the game and complete tasks within the specified period to successfully complete the level and earn points. Points can be used to trade, exchange props, or upgrade initial props. If the task fails, it will be erased. Player Lin Lucy, Number 1032, age. 20, prop. None, points. 0, Lin Lucy looked at the transparent page hanging in front of him, which contained his own data. I realized that I was in a survival game. Lying trough. She has read many survival game novels, in which the protagonist works hard to complete tasks in order to survive. Of course, there are also horror modes, which make Lin Lucy's spine feel cold. I never dreamed that I would also be dragged into the survival game. Newcomer gift pack distribution completed, players choose whether to activate it. Then two options pop up. Yes and no. Lin Lucy raised his hand and clicked on the yes option. As soon as she touched the page with her fingertips, light shone everywhere. About 10 seconds later, a golden bracelet floated before her eyes. Congratulations to the player for obtaining a space bracelet, which contains 10 square meters of space and can be used in real life and games. It cannot be discarded or damaged. This is a good thing. Lin Lucy played with the pure gold bracelet in his hand and carefully examined it. The bracelet was really exquisite, with two phoenixes carved on the surface, and the carving was lifelike. After examining it, he put the bracelet on. The mechanical female voice appears again. This round of game. Horror parasite, with a time limit of 20 days. Finding the source of the parasite will be considered as clearance. Initial items. 2000 renminbi, ID card, clothes, shoes. The game will officially start in one hour. 
players are advised to be fully prepared. Death may occur within the game, but in reality, death may also occur damn, are you playing so hard? Parasitic. Lin Lucy widened his eyes. Isn't it? Did you just come up so fierce? She has also watched many parasitic movies, and the disgusting scenes made her skip meals for several days, let alone encountering them in reality but now I don't have time to think so much. The most important thing is the supplies. If we don't store them well in the early stage, we will either risk our lives to search or starve to death in the later stage. Parasitism often occurs through three types. Food, water, and contact. As long as she ensures there are no issues with her water source and food, she will find a place to rest and wait for the game to end. Wait a moment, the game says we still need to find the source of the parasite. It means we still need to go out. Well, weapons are also essential. There is a baseball bat and a kitchen knife at home, which can be used for a while. I checked the room and found that my current residence is still quite secretive, located in a small room on the top floor of a residential building. The room is not big, it is 15 square meters long, with two windows in front and back. Through the front window, you can see a larger balcony, and further ahead is the external staircase leading to the downstairs. Outside the back window is a 2 square meter small balcony, with a 1.5 meter high wall in front and on the left and right sides. There is also a small path next to it that only allows one person to pass through. It's a good location for separation. The only inconvenience is that the restroom is outside the door, but it's not far either. Turn right outside and take two steps to get there. A new book is coming. Please check in for recommended tickets and receive positive feedback. The female protagonist of this book is a growth-oriented person, not particularly strong from the beginning, nor is she so perfect. Readers who enjoy reading Misa can look for other good books. The author's writing style is not good, this book is not a brain-burning type, but a refreshing direction. End of this chapter Chapter 2, Storing Materials You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2, Storing Materials There is a 30-square-meter balcony outside, with rows of flowers and plants and a swing chair. If the weather is good, it is a popular spot for taking photos. There are still 50 minutes until the game officially starts. Not wanting to waste any more time, Lin Lucy went to the nearest supermarket to start moving and purchasing supplies. The first person to be elected was mineral water. I bought three boxes of large buckets of mineral water, each with four buckets. Suddenly, a girl bought so much water, which caught the attention of others. Little girl, what's the use of buying so much water? The uncle next to him stared at Lin Lucy, who was paying, and looked up and down. The landlord told me that there will be a water outage for two days, so I'll prepare some. Lin Lucy was taken aback and casually made up an excuse, evading it. Are you also a player? She is a girl with little strength, and when facing adult males, she has no strength to restrain herself. It's better to keep a low profile. It seems that this notice came out this morning, so it seems I need to be prepared as well. Uncle chuckled and turned around to get a few buckets of mineral water. Lin Lucy breathed a sigh of relief upon seeing this. Originally, it was just an NPC. After dragging three boxes of mineral water into the corner to collect the bracelet, I always felt someone staring at me behind me. Lin Lucy's feet began to cool and he didn't dare to buy anything else in this supermarket. He turned around and went to the snack shop next door. Boss, give me a box of each of these four flavors of instant noodles, along with cookies, bread, eggs, fresh handmade noodles, self-heating rice, self-heating hot pot, and a box of small bottles of mineral water. For boxes of instant noodles, three boxes of cookies, fifty eggs, five pounds of handmade noodles, six barrels of self-heating hot pot, ten barrels of self-heating rice, one box of small bottles of mineral water, and three boxes of large barrels of mineral water. Total cost. 552 yuan. 
As the sky gradually darkened, a cold wind howled in, neon lights gradually lit up on the streets, but pedestrians became fewer and fewer. There is still half an hour until the game starts. There have been two cases of food poisoning in this city. It is understood that both individuals suffered from vomiting, abdominal pain, and coma after consuming half of raw beef. They were taken to the hospital, and there are small amounts of bacteria and parasites in the raw meat. The meat needs to be cooked before consumption. This city will experience two consecutive weeks of high temperatures. Citizens are advised to prepare for heatstroke prevention. Please reduce travel at night. There have been five incidents of wild animals injuring people recently, and all five people who were injured have been emptied of their organs and died. The street radio has been playing non-stop. Infected individuals have already appeared, and I believe there must be people around them who have also been infected. After hearing the broadcast, Lin Lucy gave up the idea of buying meat and put away his things before going to the pharmacy to buy some regular medicines. Lin Lucy picked up a few boxes and found an empty corner to put the 10-pound supplies in his bracelet. He ran back and forth three or four times before finishing moving the items. He then ran to the pharmacy with the remaining 448 yuan in cash in his hand. On the way, Lin Lucy briefly clarified his thoughts. Parasitic people are more active at night and should avoid drinking water and consuming raw meat. Before understanding the habits and characteristics of parasitic monsters, Lin Lucy decided to stick with them. Hello, may I ask what I need? The sweet female voice pulled Lin Lucy back to her senses. A sweet-looking girl with double ponytails in the pharmacy asked Lin Lucy with a smile, and the pear vortex at the corner of her mouth made her tiger teeth look particularly cute. Looking at the time, there are only 25 minutes left until the start of the game, Lin Lucy naturally didn't have the mood to appreciate someone else's appearance, just glanced at them. End of this chapter Chapter 3, Staring at Parasitic Monsters You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3, Staring at Parasitic Monsters Taking a breath, I quickly reported what I needed and then lowered my head to prepare to pay. Medical cotton, medical gauze, alcohol, cooling oil, anti-inflammatory medicine, Huixiang Jingqi water, however, as Lin Lucy lowered her head, a strange green light flashed in the girl's eyes. Her gaze was fixed on her head, revealing a greedy expression. Her sharp tongue quickly licked her lips, and as Lin Lucy looked up, she regained her original state. Okay, please wait a moment. The girl is very fast and can get everything in two or three minutes. The total is 128 yuan. Lin Lucy took out his phone and prepared to pay the bill. He glanced at the electric treasure rental next to him, which had two left. He took out his phone and swept away the remaining two. Considering the possibility of power outage in the later stage, just in case, Lin Lucy bought two flashlights on his way home and used the remaining money to buy all the batteries. As night fell, the cool breeze howled past, and the road lost the excitement of the past, but instead became eerily quiet. The street lights flickered and dimmed, and the whole street was quiet, except for the rustling sound of the wind blowing through the leaves. There were faint growls of wild beasts in the dark surroundings, and the eerie and terrifying atmosphere made people accelerate their steps. Ah! Not far from the store, a young man with a face full of blood crawled out, but was once again trapped by a thick, long pink tentacle and dragged inside. After the heart-wrenching cries, the streets fell into silence. Lin Lucy knew that the game was about to start and walked home at the fastest speed, from brisk steps at the beginning to a jog, and finally to the speed of a hundred-meter sprint. Little did they know that in the darkness, a pair of green eyes were fixed on her departing figure returning to the top floor, Lin Lucy's first task was to lock the door and push the table over to block the iron door that seemed to be easily knocked open. The iron gate has been weathered for many years and has long been rusty. If it were a slightly stronger adult, this iron gate would be meaningless in front of them. An hour is only enough to store supplies, and if given a few hours, she may not be able to rent a safer room. A single table is not enough, 
and Lin Lucy moved the oven and small refrigerator all onto the table. Until the entire door was tightly blocked, Lin Lucy's hanging heart finally let go. The slightly important things in the room were moved to block the door, and the originally crowded room suddenly became empty. After finishing everything and lying in bed, Lin Lucy realized a serious problem. The toilet was outside, so she couldn't suffocate without using it for twenty days, could she? Suddenly, Lin Lucy's gaze was drawn to a very narrow gap on the wall. Behind this wall was the outside toilet, could it be with a feeling of giving it a try, Lin Lucy reached out and pushed it, but remained motionless. Okay, she thought too much. A scene of playing mosaic comes to mind, can't we just pick up a bag in the corner? No way. She can't do it. Perhaps the small balcony over there by the back window, which is the top floor, is not taller than her building and cannot be seen from the outside. It is a good choice for a temporary toilet. When Lin Lucy was planning to take another look at the rear window, his fingers touched a cold place that was different from the wooden partition. Upon closer inspection, it was a small handle embedded in the wall. Lin Lucy used his fingers to buckle it for a while before pulling it out. Gently pull out, it's the toilet. End of this chapter. Chapter 4, The Song of Makabaka. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4, The Song of Makabaka At this moment, the door outside the toilet was open, and the piercing cold wind seeped in like the howling of wild beasts hunting in the forest. It's so cold. The temperature difference between morning and evening is also too large. Suddenly, Lin Lucy saw a thin figure appearing at the staircase outside the door. The other person slowly approached this way step by step. Due to the dim light outside, she couldn't see the other person's face clearly, so she was stunned for a while. The woman's intuition tells her to close the door immediately. The other party clearly saw her intention, and suddenly the corners of her mouth cracked open in all directions. A tendril wriggled out of her throat and rushed towards her quickly. In that moment, Lin Lucy saw the other party's face clearly. It was the sweet-looking girl from the pharmacy just now. At this moment, her face was pale, her eyes were green, her pupils were thin and long, and her eyes were no longer white. There was a hint of tissue-like substance hanging from her sharp and long fangs in her mouth, and something seemed to be wriggling under her skin, causing it to bulge. Lin Lucy's heart trembled, but his hand was not slow. At the moment when the opponent pulled the door, he locked it tightly and, just in case, wiped the broomstick into the handle. Open the door. Sister, open the door. I'm so cold, can you let me in? Outside the door came the girl's slightly trembling voice, with a sweet tone, but not as lively and cute as before, with a hint of eerie and cold. Lin Lucy felt his heartbeat reaching his throat. Now she returned to the room at the fastest speed, grabbed a kitchen knife, and pressed her back tightly against the wall, not daring to move. The sound outside is still continuing. Sister, you see me alone and cold outside, let me in. Lin Lucy dared not speak up. She tried to reduce her presence, shrank into a corner, covered her mouth, and didn't make a sound. She tightly closed her eyes and prayed for the other person to leave quickly. After two or three minutes, there was no movement outside. Just as Lin Lucy thought the other party had left, a strange light smile lingered in Lin Lucy's ear, I found you. Ha <laughs> ha. Upon hearing the sound, her body suddenly froze and she carefully opened her eyes. As a result, she met a green eyeball with four eyes, and the slender pupils inside the eyeball swayed left and right. The distance between them was only two centimeters. Lin Lucy's face turned pale in fear on the spot. Ah! He closed his eyes and waved his kitchen knife recklessly, as fast as a speeding car on the highway, only a few imaginary shadows could be seen. Her mind was blank, and she kept shouting. Makabaka, Akawaka, Mikamaka, M. I hope to use the song of eliminating fear to alleviate the damage to my eyes from the critical blow just now. Pushi. 
as if chopping into something soft and tough, black and red sticky blood splattered in an instant, and the foul smell instantly spread. A mournful scream came from outside the door, followed by a frenzy of smashing. Ah! Open the door. I'll let you open the door. Open the door. Lin Lucy took several steps back to the corner of the back window, his fingertips holding the kitchen knife trembling uncontrollably, cautiously staring at the shaking door. The impact became more and more intense, and many things on the table were knocked to the ground, some even falling near the eyeballs, stained with thick black and red blood. After an unknown amount of time, the impact stopped and the silence outside returned to its original state. After confirming that the other party had left, Lin Lucy collapsed on the ground, patted his chest, and exhaled with lingering palpitations. Just now, after Lin Lucy cut off his eyeballs, he immediately stepped on the nearby table and locked the small window to prevent the same situation from happening again. End of this chapter Chapter 5, Forced Termination of Lease You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5, Forced Termination of Lease The first time I've experienced such a thing, it's all false to say I'm not afraid. My gaze fell on the ground, onto the still wriggling eyeballs. Behind the eyeballs was a wrist-thick flesh tube, which was covered in densely packed red rashes. The black dots on the rashes secreted a green viscous substance. My stomach churned with excitement. She vomited and spat out everything she had eaten for lunch. It took a long time for Lynn Lucy to get up and tidy up. It's already 9 p.m. after handling my eyeballs. The curtains inside the house are tightly drawn, making it impossible to see outside, and similarly, the inside cannot be seen from outside. Even when the lights were turned on, Lynn Lucy dared only turn on the small night lights. Throughout the night, he was holding a kitchen knife in his hand, and his sleep was extremely shallow. Whenever there was a disturbance, he immediately woke up. On the first day, it was a thrilling and safe journey. The next morning, just as the sky lit up slightly, a ray of fish belly white slowly rose from afar and quickly spread all over the earth. Dong dong dong. A rhythmic knocking sounded at the door. Lin Lucy's heart tightened. Will it come again? She held a kitchen knife and looked sideways through the curtain gap. It's the landlord with two young people. What's up, auntie? She dared not open the door and only dared to shout in the room. Did you forget that today is the day you terminated your lease? Lynn Lucy tilted her head and thought for a moment, as if there was indeed such a thing, but now she looked like everyone was being parasitized and didn't dare to open the door. Parasitic monsters are intelligent, as can be seen from yesterday. Who knows if they are disguised by parasitic monsters? Wait a minute. Eyes. Parasitic monsters have eyes like snakes, with thin and long pupils. You can confirm whether the other person is a normal person or a parasitic monster through your eyes. Auntie, I won't rent out anymore. I want to continue renewing my lease. After finally getting familiar with this place, she really doesn't want to change places. No way, I've agreed with these two young people, and they've already paid a deposit, said the landlord impatiently. She took a few steps closer and knocked hard on the door. No matter what Lynn Lucy said, the other party refused and had no choice but to observe the eyes of the three people outside through the window. They were all normal, so they could open the door with peace of mind. On the street, Lynn Lucy walked aimlessly, she had to find a place to live before sunset. Due to a month's overdue rent, the landlord did not allow her to take anything with her. In addition, Lynn Lucy was afraid of parasitic monsters appearing at any time and did not want to entangle for too long, so she left empty-handed. She doesn't have any money around her, the only valuable thing is the space bracelet on her wrist I don't know if selling props is considered a violation but it didn't say it couldn't be sold, did it? Lynn Lucy tried to come to a gold shop, took off the bracelet from his wrist, and asked, Boss, how much can this sell? Let me weigh it. 16,000. Okay, I need cash. 
After walking two or three meters from the gold shop, Lin Lucy raised his hand and saw that the bracelet had indeed returned to her wrist. Her eyes lit up, as if she had discovered some cheating tool. After receiving the cash, Lin Lucy's first task was to find a house, and the only five-dot-star hotel that could meet all her conditions was the one in the city center. I arrived at the hotel and stayed in a luxurious single room for three nights, spending 3,000 yuan. The room is on the eighth floor, with a large French window, which can clearly see the situation near the hotel entrance. Before checking in, Lin Lucy specifically instructed the front desk that her room does not need to be cleaned. End of this chapter Chapter 6 If I find myself riding slowly, I will walk on my own. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 if I find myself riding slowly, I will walk on my own. Considering the need for vehicles in the later stage, Lin Lucy planned to rent a car and walked to the hotel lobby. He saw a man at the front desk handing over his documents, indicating that he was checking in. Hello, your room is 8807. Next door, Lin Lucy couldn't help but glance at the other person. This brother is quite good. Looking. As soon as he thought he might be a parasite, Lin Lucy instinctively shook his body and walked quickly with his head down. It is now a special period, and with a knife on the character, say, many heroes and heroines have died on the character, say. Today, the sun was scorching outside, scorching the earth with scorching temperatures. There were not many pedestrians on the road. Lin Lucy searched for a long time before finding a rental tram shop where various types of trams were neatly parked. Although electric cars are not as convenient as gasoline, they are the most convenient means of transportation she can find in the short term. Lin Lucy finally fell in love with the small and cute panda. The car was small, fast, and could quickly shuttle between large cars. Most importantly, the remaining space in the bracelet was just enough to accommodate this car. I rented a car for 100 yuan a day and rented it for 10 days in one go. 10 days later, whether it can still be paid off is a secondary matter. With 14,000 yuan left, Lin Lucy went to buy two one-meter long machetes. She found that the attack range of the kitchen knife was too short and not as sharp, with little killing power. In order to ensure the sharpness of the machete, she specially bought a sharpening stone. There are also some hemp ropes, lighters, and five pounds of firewood cut into pieces for escape. A total of 2,328 yuan was spent. Money is nothing but a piece of scrap paper, food and medicine are the key to survival. Before it was too early, Lin Lucy ran to the nearby RT Mart to make a big purchase. I bought five sets of clothes to change, one bag of Korean zajiangmyeon, five packages, and a Korean stainless steel lamian noodles pan. I bought bread with a long shelf life, a tableware, a black waterproof backpack, and two pairs of sports shoes of Honkel. Later, he ran to the pharmacy and bought all the drugs he could think of until all the money was spent. Dear citizens, there has been a large dot scale riot on the street. Please evacuate all citizens who are still outdoors to indoors, close windows and doors, and wait for rescue. Once again, all citizens outdoors are advised to seek shelter nearby, close doors and windows, and wait for rescue. As soon as I left the pharmacy, I saw a uniformed staff member standing on the roof of the car, holding a horn. A large number of parasitic creatures burst out in the streets and alleys behind him, with their mouths parted in all directions. One of them suddenly rushed towards the person on the roof, and a mournful scream was heard through the loudspeaker to everyone present. Ah! After a terrifying scream, everyone panicked. Lin Lucy turned around and ran towards the hotel. The street screamed and cried, creating a chaotic scene. She rode a bicycle on the way. Lin Lucy! Can you ride a bike? Ride faster! Ride faster! A girl ran quickly from the side and sat behind, constantly urging Lin Lucy to hurry up and ride a bike. As they approached the hotel, Lin Lucy glanced at Jiang Lin Lin, whose lips were pale with fear behind him. 
This was her college classmate, and the two were not very familiar. Lynn Lucy did not want to take her to the hotel. If you find me riding slowly, get off and walk. Don't, let's go together. We have a good care. Jiang Lin Lin is not foolish. When she was shopping at the supermarket just now, she saw that Lin Lucy had bought a lot of food. In this situation, she definitely wouldn't dare to go out and find something to eat. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Crisis Begins to Spread You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Crisis Begins to Spread Anyway, Lin Lucy has food, so as long as I follow her, I don't have to worry about hunger. I'm used to being alone, Lin Lucy said in a cold tone and didn't give the other person a chance to react. He pulled her out of the car, got on the bike, and prepared to leave. This kind of person is the most selfish, Lin Lucy doesn't want to get involved with the other party. How could Jiang Lin Lin just give up like this? She ran a few steps to catch up with Lin Lucy and said in a natural tone, I saw you bought a lot of food. Anyway, you can't finish it all by yourself. At best, I'll just pay you. Besides, everyone is classmates, you don't need to be so stingy, do you? Do I know you well? For Jiang Lin Lin's persistent fighting, Lin Lucy clearly lost patience. Her voice was extremely cold, and she shook off the other person to try to pull her hand. Obviously, I didn't expect Lin Lucy to be so selfish and ruthless, and Jiang Lin Lin's tone was not good either. Damn it, who do you think you are? Are you a bit of a foodie? A selfish person like you deserves to have no friends. Lin Lucy didn't pay any attention to her. He pedaled his bike fiercely, and even if he helped, he would still stab you in the back. Her life and death have nothing to do with herself. Lin Lucy drove all the way and finally arrived at the hotel downstairs. At this moment, many people were also rushing towards the hotel upstairs. She mixed in with the crowd and rushed up from the stairwell at her fastest speed, closing the door and locking it. At this time, it is absolutely not allowed to take the elevator. Who knows if there are any parasitic monsters in the crowd? Obviously, her guess was correct. Parasitic monsters had already infiltrated the crowd waiting for the elevator downstairs. As the elevator closed, screams and cries for help kept coming and going. Back to the room, Lin Lucy went to the French window with the mineral water, unscrewed the bottle cap and poured a few mouthfuls, looking downstairs. There are still many people downstairs running around like headless flies, and some of them haven't seen the terrifying appearance of the parasitic monster. They run and look back to see the situation, but the outcome is not unexpected. The chasing parasitic monster inserted itself into the throat and sucked the blood dry. The crisis is still spreading. The parasitic monsters outside the hotel have accumulated to a terrifying number. They rushed towards the hotel in groups. Lin Lucy saw an SB and even ran slowly, pulling the girl beside him to take a photo of him. Then, the two of them were sucked dry. At least three or four tentacles were inserted into their bodies to suck on them, and their companions tried to save them, but they were also sucked into zombies. Lin Lucy stood upstairs and saw a person at the intersection of the alley being bitten and eaten by these parasitic monsters. A white bone flew out of the crowd and fell onto the roadside. A few minutes later, the people who had only half of their bodies left after being divided came back to life, growing a few milky white tentacles and starting to hunt others. The smell of blood permeated the streets and alleys. Just now, on the bustling road, limbs were everywhere, and blood gradually stained the entire land red. People who are parasitized may even lie on the ground and gnaw on fallen limbs. She turned around and rushed into the toilet to vomit. After vomiting, I rinsed my mouth with the remaining mineral water and then flushed my face. Returning to the window, the parasitic monsters at the intersection of the street and alley were orderly divided into three paths. They searched for survivors inside the house all the way, ran towards the neighboring street and square, and finally headed towards the hotel. Dang dang dang. The chaotic running sound rang out, 
and the whole building was screaming for help everywhere. End of this chapter. Chapter 8, She Seems to Have Discovered Something Important. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8, She Seems to Have Discovered Something Important. Lynn Lucy Dare not open the door. She quickly turned off the toilet light and curtains, locked the room door, retreated to the farthest point from the door, and held the machete tightly in her hands. Footsteps echoed in the hallway, indicating that the fugitive had fled upwards. They were frantically knocking on the door, hoping that someone could let them in. Lynn Lucy's door was also smashed, but she didn't open it and listen from a distance. Because she knows parasitic monsters can disguise themselves. Many of those who chose to open the door and let people in were survivors rushing in front of them. The crowd was mixed with deadly parasitic monsters, accompanied by eerie laughter and roars. The corridor and some rooms were filled with screams of being attacked. The hotel turned into a human purgatory in an instant. Lin Lucy's eyes were flustered, and his palms tightly gripping the machete were sweating until a threatening sound came from the door, don't come over. We have already called the police. Come over again, be careful that our swords have no eyes. Lin Lucy wanted to see the situation at the entrance, holding her breath, and moving step by step towards the door. Through her cat's eye, she could see several young people holding sticks, knives, and other weapons shouting at the opposite side. Among them happened to be Jiang Lin Lin, who had just left unhappily. She huddled at the back of the crowd, her eyes panicked as she looked around, and the people beside her kept urging. Are you sure she lives on the eighth floor? I'm sure, I saw her room card, which read, 880-something. Jiang Lin Lin's tone is very affirmative. Lin Lucy must have known something in advance, otherwise how could he have hoarded goods early? Since she is unwilling to share, don't blame her for being impolite. Before they could knock on the door, the antennae of the parasitic monsters had already wrapped around the bodies of the first two people, followed by the second and third ones from Lin Lucy's perspective, many tentacles entwined around the young man's body, hands, and neck, dragging him towards the blind spot, don't kill me. Don't. Don't. Help me. Jiang Lin Lin's crazy screams came from outside the door, and Lin Lucy quickly retreated. Listening to the heart-wrenching screams coming from the door, his legs were weak in fear. Even further away, there were people running for their lives in the neighboring streets and squares, and wherever they went, it was a hell on earth. Fear and Powerlessness Lin Lucy's back was sweating profusely, his clothes were unknowingly soaked, and he couldn't help but tremble, like a dry duck rising from the icy water. After an unknown amount of time, the sky had completely darkened and there was silence outside. She just collapsed on the ground to rest for a while, then regained consciousness and found that she still had a phone. You can take advantage of the internet outage to check the relevant information. If you can find the source as soon as possible, you can hide and score in the future. Take out your phone and find a friend request. Click open, it's a cat named. Love to eat lollipops. The avatar is a very beautiful white puppet cat. Thinking it's online, as long as you don't expose your position, you can still reveal some rumors. Agreed to the friend application, did not wait for Lin Lucy to send a good message, the other party has already sent enough. Do not open the door to anyone, do not make any noise, close the curtains. Parasitic monsters have no sense of smell, but their vision and hearing are ten times that of ordinary people. People who are parasitized have eyes like snakes. How did you know about this? I am a researcher at the Three Towers Biological Research Center, and the parasite was taken out of our research institute. She seems to have discovered something significant. End of this chapter. Chapter 9, Are You Not Afraid of Her Going to Grab It? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9, Are You Not Afraid of Her Going to Grab It? Parasites are brought out from research institutes, which means that the research institute is the source of the parasite. As long as she finds there, she will successfully pass the level. Lin Lucy felt a sense of joy in her heart, 
as if she had grabbed a life.saving straw and asked, do you know what weaknesses parasitic monsters have? Or their daily routines? After a long time, I haven't received a response from the other party. Lin Lucy lazily leaned against the sofa by the bed, scrolling through his phone news. The news is all about today's street riots and hot searches warning citizens not to go out. Gulu Gulu. In the darkness, Lin Lucy's stomach began to sing, and it was only then that she remembered that she had not eaten anything since vomiting in the afternoon. People are iron, and food is steel. Not eating a meal makes one feel hungry. What she can do now is to store her energy well and wait for the opportunity. Take out the small night light from the space, adjust the brightness to the darkest, connect the charging cable, and then Lynn Lucy uses a damp towel to stuff the door gap. In addition, the curtains are thickened to ensure that the inside is not visible from the outside, so that you can rest assured. The parasitic monster has no sense of smell, so Lynn Lucy is not worried that he will be found if he eats self-cooked rice. Today, he eats curry chicken with self-cooked rice, a sausage and a bottle of yogurt. After unpacking the sausage, we started to unpack the self-heating rice. Tear off the transparent packaging bag and open the black plastic cover. There was a small bag of rice and a bag of chicken curry in it. At the bottom was the self-heating package. According to the instructions, put the self-heating bag on the ground, pour water, then put the poured rice and chicken curry on the top, cover it, and wait for 15 minutes. At this moment, Lin Lucy glanced at his phone and found that the other party still hadn't replied. He took the initiative to ask, do you have any supplies? After two minutes, the other party returned. Mmm, it's really cold. Lin Lucy shrunk his mouth, threw away his phone, and began eating the heated rice. Maybe she had been hungry for a long time. She ate quickly, blowing while eating. She finished a bowl of chicken curry rice in less than 10 minutes. After eating and drinking enough, she hugged the blanket and belched heavily. Dong dong. The window was lightly tapped. Lin Lucy's originally relaxed nerves immediately became tense. She quietly touched the large machete placed on her side and stared at the location where the sound came from. At the same time, her phone screen lit up. It's a message from a cat who loves to eat lollipops. Open the window, I'll give you a bread, a biscuit and a bottle of water. Lin Lucy was taken aback. Is this guy not afraid that she might snatch it from him? Just generously distribute her supplies. Has she been looked down upon? Before exchanging things, they sent each other eye videos to confirm that each other was not a parasitic monster, and Lin Lucy's hanging heart was relieved. In order not to refuse the other party's kindness, Lin Lucy took out a bag of instant noodles and a bottle of beverage from the space, prepared to take the other party's things and then hand them to him. The curtain opened a gap and the window was opened. Lin Lucy took the pink bag hanging from the hanger, which contained cookies, bread, and water. Wait a moment. Seeing the other party preparing to retract the hanger, Lin Lucy spoke softly. Her voice was very light and could not be heard from a distance of two meters. She put the instant noodles and drinks in a bag and hung them back on the hanger, then pushed them back and closed the window, tightening the curtains. Cat who loves to eat lollipops. Thank you. Lynn Lucy received a cute cat expression. End of this chapter. Chapter 10, Parasitic Fear of Strong Fire. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10, Parasitic Fear of Strong Fire Lynn Lucy, who had closed the chat page, only realized that he had a class group that was blocked. At this point, the chat group is about to explode. Help. Today when I went back to school to get something, I was blocked by a group of crazy people in the teaching building and couldn't get out. Point three point twelve p.m., I'll go. My company also has it. Suddenly, someone's face cracked and they spit out a two-meter-long tentacle, biting anyone they see. Point three point fifty-four p.m., this is a monster. It's a monster. Everyone, hurry up and hide. Point four point eleven p.m., hurry up and pack up your things and run away. 
This place is not suitable for long stays. Point four point twelve p.m. Just woke up and heard that there was a riot in the streets and alleys. Is this true? The news says there are some cannibals, and the vicinity of the house has been sealed off. Do people have anyone to talk about what exactly happened? Point seven point ten p.m. Lynn Lucy typed a few words on his phone screen, deleted them again, and replied, "You can understand it as a zombie of the end." At this moment, the phone suddenly received several official text messages. There is currently a large dot scale riot in B City, and the B City police have issued the following content. So citizens must stay indoors, stay away from the rioters, and prepare food and water for a week to wait for rescue. Seeing this text message, Lynn Lucy seemed to have found the backbone. She planned to follow the short message and try to wait for rescue first. At least without sufficient preparation and necessary circumstances, she temporarily did not plan to go out to deliver a person's head. After reading the news, charging the phone, Lynn Lucy lay on his back in bed, with a large machete placed within reach of the bedside table. In a daze, Lynn Lucy felt like he was lying on a real bed, sleeping in a daze. When he opened his eyes again, it was already eight o'clock in the morning. The silence outside was terrifying, even though the sun was shining brightly, one could already feel a hint of coolness. Lynn Lucy picked up his phone and checked for the latest news. He found that the network had started to become unstable, and it took a long time for the 4G network to load before the page could be displayed. Many cities have fallen, millions of people have been parasitized, and the number of deaths has reached billions. Ding! Cat who loves to eat lollipops. Parasitics fear strong fire. She sent a message after 6 o'clock yesterday and only replied at 5 o'clock in the morning. 6. After breakfast, Lynn Lucy turned on the mobile phone navigation and entered the Three Towers Biological Research Center. The network was still too laggy. It took one minute to load and the address was displayed. Chenjiation, Yumu City. It is 60 kilometers away from City B. Driving takes over an hour. Now is the third day of parasitism, she needs to resist for 20 days before going to this research center. With a car in hand, the world walks freely. So, Lynn Lucy activated the idle mode, and as long as she didn't make any noise, the parasite would never notice her existence. Spend the third day safely. Though the fourth day passed safely. On the fifth day, early in the morning, Lynn Lucy vaguely heard footsteps coming from the corridor, followed by the sound of someone starting to pry the lock. The sound was not loud, but it could make Lynn Lucy instantly wake up, grab the big machete, and rush to the door. Through the cat's eye, three men were seen groping at the door with their heads down. Who? So there's someone inside. It's like this. We thought there was no one here and wanted to find something to eat. Three fully armed men, one of whom is a middle-aged man in his thirties and forties, is pounding at the door with a lock-picking tool. Each of them has a kitchen knife in their hand, stained with black blood. I don't have anything to eat here, hurry up and leave. Lynn Lucy sternly shouted, trying to scare off the other party. On the first day of the new book release, it has exploded and completed. Seeking recommended votes and receiving positive reviews from book enthusiasts, this is the motivation for authors to code their characters. End of this chapter